welcome to episode five of the six hour guitar build. Extraction, Merka. The Merka is a fantastic sander. So camera changeover and I'm desperately setting up for the sanding process. In the nine hour and the 12 hour builds, I spent hey. a large part of the build sanding. We don't have the time for that right now. Two hours, two minutes in, two seconds. <laughs> oh, people, people are nasty. If you watch the nine hour build, you see me pick this up and, and, and uh, I forgot to edit out me swearing at whoever had destroyed this pad and it's just got worse. You don't need that. That is a sound that I actually rather enjoy. I spent a fairly large part of my life using one of these machines. So in the comments, let me know what you think of the uh, of the cracks and knots in this piece of wood. Our um, one of our luthiers came up when I was planning this build. And he said, in many ways, this is a really ugly piece of wood. And it is, but it's beautiful as well. So I've got a relatively fine uh, piece of sandpaper. I can't believe I've just forgotten what that's called. Somebody's distracted me by handing me a cup of coffee. I'm sitting here narrating or doing this voiceover in the only quiet part of the property at Crimson Guitars, which just happens to be in the car park in my car. And uh, Sean, our fantastic camera person, has thought of me and brought me a cup of coffee. So life is awesome. Anyhow, I was using a fairly fine and large sanding disc on the Merca. And uh, I just happened to have this geared Triton sander floating around that could be used for full on carving if necessary as well. And it's got a much coarser piece of paper on it as well. So uh, yeah, I've pulled that out. Let's do a little experiment actually and see see what that's like. There we go. Move from random mortal to geared. Watch it scare me. There you go. That was a fright. That's still a fright. That's now a powered geared sander. And <laughs> it's a little bit too beastly uh, for what I want to do really. It just eats through the wood. Change it back to standard random, random orbital. The beast of a machine, but very, very nice. Two hours, five minutes into a six hour build. Hopefully. That carve is problematic. It felt actually that the carving process, while I was doing it, was taking a lot longer than it actually did. Don't do that, Ben. No, that doesn't work. Stop. No. No. Cross-grained. Not good. I am a tool addict. I absolutely cannot get enough of fine tools. Predominantly hand tools. 
although you know the appreciation I feel for my uh, that Merca is mind blowing for my Felder uh, planar thickness. So I've, you know it's across the board in the Triton router, but <laughs> when you're trying to do a speedy build like this, um, hand tools really, despite them being my first love, just don't cut it. If you're trying to be fast, you, you've got to use power as much as possible. And good work holding as well. Again, I'm not using dust extraction properly on this. There should be a pipe plugged in, but uh, I'm just not set up properly. Round the edges over. Sand some more carving. Panic. <laughs> the further the build gets along, the more I look at the clock. How many of you are tempted to try and blow the dust off your screens right now? Me too. So this is just about the fastest way, apart from possibly a, a great big pad sander, catch that, to sand a, sand a guitar down, really. Uh, I should be putting it onto uh, something soft, which I'm not. I am planning on coming back and fine sanding afterwards. This is technically still part of the carving process. So the options are great big pad sand, which I don't own. I don't have one of them, which is crazy. Um, that's a, a, a long, sorry, not pad sander. Yeah, or a pad or a wide belt sander is I think what they're called. And you've got a four or five meter long sanding belt going between two bearings, rollers, and use a pad to push the belt down onto the top of the guitar. And that sands really quickly. Then random orbital sanders, things like that. You could avoid the sanding entirely by using scrapers uh, or particularly sharp planes, uh, except in cases like this, a plane wouldn't work on a carved guitar like this. Uh, then sandpaper by hand, and if you are insane, like some of the people that uh, I studied uh, baroque instrument making with, early stringed music instrument building, uh, they used to go and get a particular water reed from Egypt 
that has a, a coarse grain on the outside of part of this grass. And they use that to sand because it's, I don't know, cinema verite, truth in, truth in, luthery verite, there we go. In other words, total bull. Uh, but yeah, in this case, in this case, as fast as humanly possible is the way forward. And unfortunately, as Dusty, you watch the dust dance. Back onto the finer, finer paper on the Merca. This is hooked up to an extractor. Instead of a curve, I carved a sort of two-curve shape uh, on the back there. Check the block. You haven't looked at that in at least four or five minutes, maybe. Now, at this point, I'm wondering whether we should speed through the, the edit of this, uh, of this video or leave it in real time. I think because it's a six hour build, because we're trying to do something fast and essentially in real time. There we go. Finally realize you should be on something soft. Because of that, I think we're probably going to just keep it as close to live as humanly possible. Minus camera changes and batteries and the like. The camera seems to die every 20 minutes or so. And we're changing, changing camera person every 30 because uh, standing there holding the camera like this for half an hour is actually very hard work, even with a rig. The guitar is coming to life. You can see I'm feeling, touching. It's not necessarily about getting the dust out of the way. I'm using my hand to feel every single surface that I'm working on, see how smooth it is, to find the imperfections uh, and then fix them. It's a very, it's a very intimate process, really. Looks like I'm uh, starting to uh, panic a little bit here. We're a third of the way in, but over a third of the way in. Whoops. <laughs> this is the one problem with the uh, power paddle being on the top of this sander. If you're not uh, concentrating, you can turn it on by mistake. So don't forget, if 
if you're watching this uh, live, if you're watching this live, you have the chance, well, live-ish, you have the chance to actually win this guitar. Uh, check out the beginning and end of it as a, uh, of the videos for details on how to. Come on, man. Oh, about two things. There we go. Okay. Lots of dust. I'm not going to bring out the oxyacetylene torch just yet. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well. We've reached a point <laughs> I love it Sam made me a, a special pickup for this Ooh, pretty, he knows me well <laughs> ah. Okay, um, we'll, we'll do that later I sincerely hope that this glue has cured, otherwise, well, yeah. Woohoo! Success. Indeed. Yep. We have a fretboard. Try and calculate how much you actually need and cut. Again, I'm trying to cut as the excess away, keeping it as close as humanly possible to the uh, actual neck so I don't have too much routing to do. But I really, really can't cut into the neck. Scary times. Nicely done. All right. It's official. It's official. I'm definitely starting to enjoy myself. <laughs> Two hours, 20 minutes in, pretty much. So that's a little bit tight, yeah. Tight is good. So the corners on this are a little bit tighter than the uh, corners in the neck pocket. Not tighter, more acute. So a fraction of filing, we'll get that sorted. Um, however, okay, I'm gonna set the body aside. I'm gonna set the body aside for the minute. And This is starting to be... Be? Be what? Be guitar shaped. I'm going to say yes. This is starting to be a guitar. This is a, a good example of what I was talking about earlier. Hand tool versus machine. This is a, a plane that I thought I would love, that has been sharpened and, you know, cross-grained. 
router. Aha, pizza is here. Wow, that was a scary graphic. I thought the computer was jumping out of me. Pepperoni, passion, and cheese and tomato. Pepperoni passion, because that's got fewer things on it, I think, with which to... Uh, Drop down my shirt? Uh, mess up. <laughs> Could you... I think cheese and tomatoes are a few things, but you... Yeah, but that's just... That's like self-flagellating yourself. Could you um, please send up a router cutter? I need one with the bearing on the bottom. Okay, so, 2035... Yeah. Cheers. ...was when I asked okay. for that router cutter. i do cutter. just a fraction of tidying Let's up. Let's see how long it takes for him to remember. Ooh. Two hours, 22 minutes. And uh, so the router is what we're going to have to use. This is becoming a little bit messy now, actually, to be honest, everybody. And uh, yeah. <laughs> are we going to be able to do this or not? Where are we? You're still smiling. You must feel confident. That's like the third or fourth time I've forgotten to uh, release the depth stop. So it's impossible for this router to turn itself on when uh, changing the bits. It locks the uh, on-off switch closed. Let's see what router they send up and uh, we have a pizza. I'm not sure about that so, graphic. What do you think? So forgive me, but I'm going to be eating while... Uh, and we're not sponsored by Domino's or anyone else. Did Although, I just go for the piece to be frank, the most pepperoni on it? <laughs> if Domino's decide to sponsor me, I will happily eat Domino's every single day of the week. On camera. Now there's a chat. <laughs> Crikey. Look at that flame. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. So you'll remember I'm still waiting for a router cutter and basically finding things to do while I wait. Lunch is rather important. Of course. And they come. I don't see you from day to day and then I have pizza and you, you, you're my friend. It's a valid point, very valid point. Uh, where have you got me in the in the pool? Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> he made me laugh in camera mm. and on the voiceover. Told me not to f up. Although he didn't win the pool. Stuff that pizza in your face. So, sides of the headstock. And this is the thing, that's rough cut off the bandsaw. I haven't used a template or anything. Once I've got the tuner holes in position, I know where I need to go and that's all that needs to be done really. You'll see again, I'm still touching and feeling and stroking as we go. Normally I don't carve this bit with the uh, spindle sander or bobbin sander, but it does, uh, does the job very well. Get a little proto-volute going there. Holding it up that high just completely negates any dust extraction you've got going on. Which is bad. Plus I suspect I've completely forgotten 
In fact, I'm certain I've completely forgotten to open the uh, extraction gate on that machine. That's just disgusting. And again, too much of a rush. Pillar drills in the way. This is something I've not done before either. Okay, um, do you know what, I don't think I've got my router bit yet. Five minutes. This is just, uh, yes, terrible. Uh, okay. Relax, have more pizza, it's all good. James, how to cut it? I'm waiting for you. You're sabotaging me, aren't you? I need one bearing on the opposite side to that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. Appreciate that. He got distracted by pizza. Yes, I know. So obviously James wants me to fail utterly. Ah, that was that was a sound effect that was not coming out of my mouth. I was not the cause of that. Okay, so the headstock is done. Just need to do a little. We're being invaded by flying pizzas. It's crazy. So our headstock has changed shape and evolved. It uh, started out similar to this. That this we do need with the base strings access closer to the nut, and then move the other way to give more length on the base strings, and then move start the hole with the expensive, lovely back. drill that I don't want to destroy. Then move on to one that can actually cut metal. Because when I go through, I'm going to hit the uh, truss rod just a little bit. There we go. Just, just give me the damn router cutter, you horrible person. So yeah, it took me seven minutes to get my uh, router cutter, which, to be honest, I should have prepared. Seven minutes? Twenty-two? No, more than that. Okay. Let's put that into something a little bit more stable. And we need to swap over to a different camera person. Okay, two and a half hours into our six hour build and people are still stealing my pizza. Get away, that's my lunch, you horrible person. Paranoid. That, that was the camera person. The important things. <laughs> okay. Um, we're done. There we go. Two and a half hours in. Swapping cameras over. I'm about to route the fret fretboard. The next episode, which you have to come and he watch, like he's in a rush at the moment, is he? going to be cutting fret slots and radiusing the fretboard as fast as humanly possible. And uh, please consider supporting our Patreon and watch all the rest of the videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you soon. Cheers.